Is your cat scratching at their ears? Maybe they're even crying in pain or making themselves bleed. Do you feel like you're actually treating the root cause of your cat's ear infections? Or do you find yourself going back and forth to the vet clinic, spending a ton of money, not seeing any change and feeling frustrated and overwhelmed on what to do next? If that sounds like you, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you why you may only be treating the symptoms and how to find the root cause of your cat's ear infections and give you some easy natural tips and tools to help them truly heal. Hey, pet parents, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Katie Woodley, holistic veterinarian and founder of The Natural Pet Doctor. So if you're new here, this channel is all about empowering amazing pet parents like you with the tools and tips you need to help your cat thrive naturally. If you're into that, I would absolutely love if you'd subscribe to our channel down below and join our amazing growing community. All right, let's jump right in. Ear infections in cats are a common problem and they can cause a lot of discomfort and pain. Some of the symptoms of ear infections in cats include redness, swelling, discharge, scratching at the ears, and an unpleasant odor. There are numerous reasons why ear infections can occur and the root cause is commonly missed, which is why the ear infection keeps coming back and keeps people in the frustrating cycle of going back and forth to the vet clinic for the same symptom. Maybe you're stuck in that cycle right now, which is why you're here. One of the big causes of ear problems in cats is actually the diet that they're eating. Cats are what we call obligate carnivores, and they have zero requirements for carbohydrates. Unfortunately, many cats are being fed a species inappropriate diet like kibble, which is high carbohydrate diet. These types of diets are warming energetically from a food therapy Chinese medicine perspective and can actually increase the amount of inflammation that's present in the body due to the poor quality ingredients used in many of these diets. So make sure to like and follow this channel to learn more about how to select a species appropriate diet for your cats and grab our free guide, How to Improve Your Pet's Food, by clicking the link down below. Because these diets aren't ideal for cats, they can also upset the good bacteria in your cat's gut or what we call the microbiome. High carb diets turn into sugar and this can feed the wrong type of bacteria or even cause yeast to overgrow. That's definitely not what we want when we have an ear infection. When we have an imbalance of the good versus bad bacteria in the gut, we call this a dysbiosis, which can lead to inflammation in the gut lining. This causes the cells that make up that gut lining to become inflamed and separate and allows food toxins and bacteria to pass through into the bloodstream, overstimulating the immune system. This reaction causes inflammatory mediators and chemicals to be produced that then manifest as the inflamed skin and ear infections. This is why it is so important to look at the gut health of your cat and the food they're eating if they're experiencing ear infections, because if we only treat the ear, we actually miss the root imbalance for why the ear infection was there in the first place. Food sensitivities are another common cause of ear infections in cats. Many times it's due to leaky gut from that imbalanced gut microbiome due to the inappropriate diet. But this is important to rule out because an elimination diet can be very helpful for your cats. Make sure to check out our other YouTube video about food sensitivities versus food allergies to learn more since these two conditions are very different. Usually, if there's a food sensitivity with cats, it will manifest as scratching excessively around the head and neck. So if you're seeing the symptom, make sure to assess your cat's food with your veterinarian. Ear mites are another major cause of ear infections for younger cats. These are microscopic mites that are highly contagious between cats. Usually, we'll see this issue with cats that have just been rescued and may be in poorly health. Signs that this might be the cause of the ear infection is there will be black, waxy, flaky discharge. It's also extremely itchy. So if you're using a cotton bud, remember only on the outer part, you never want to go in the ear canal with a cotton bud, and your cat is scratching excessively with their back paw, 
Make sure that the veterinarian is doing an ear swab and looking under the microscope to identify those mites. There are some natural remedies that you can use to help treat these common infections and the remedies we'll talk about will help with the inflammation and itchiness. Another thing to keep in mind is that most ear infections are not contagious to your other cats. The only contagious infection is ear mites. So you don't need to worry about your pets passing their infection to others in the household unless ear mites are present, which is less likely compared to a malassezia or yeast infection. Another commonly missed issue is stress. Yep, I said stress, and you may be wondering why this would be a cause of an ear infection. Cats are very emotional creatures and they can absorb our stress and can be easily stressed from changes in their environment. This is one of the major pillars of health that we help pet parents transform in our healthy holistic pet blueprint, since it's a commonly missed root cause of so many diseases. Stress alone can create what we call leaky gut, which can directly create more inflammation in your cat's body, which can impact the ears. When the skin in the ears becomes red and inflamed, it makes this warm, moist environment. Bacteria and yeast love these types of environments, which is why we see secondary infections occur. These secondary infections must be treated along with the root imbalance to make sure the symptom doesn't keep occurring. While it's important to consult a veterinarian if your cat is showing signs of an ear infection, there are some natural remedies that can help ease the symptoms and promote healing while you're working on healing those root imbalances to prevent the infections from coming back in the future. First, we need to clean the ears. There are quite a few natural options that we can use, ranging from apple cider vinegar, aloe vera juice, and even witch hazel. One of my favorite homemade natural ear cleaning remedies is to take two cups brewed green tea that's cooled, you'll remove the tea bag, add in two tablespoons of organic apple cider vinegar with the mother, add in five drops calendula tincture, and put them all together and mix it and then use a syringe to put one to three mils into your cat's vertical ear canal. You'll massage the base of the ear. You wanna hear the liquid squishing, let your cat shake their head. So don't wear nice clothes and then wipe it all out with a soft cloth or cotton balls. Continue until there's no waxy debris left and make sure to check out the description below for some of the brands I recommend and use for my own pets and patients. Apple cider vinegar has antibacterial and antifungal properties that can help fight off infections. You can also dilute a small amount of apple cider vinegar with water if this is all you have. And using a clean dropper, apply a few drops into your cat's ear. Massage the base of the ear gently to help distribute the solution and repeat this process once or twice a day until the infection clears up. If there's a lot of inflammation, irritation, soreness present, you can always use witch hazel instead of the apple cider vinegar. It helps reduce that inflammation and also helps remove waxy buildup to clean the ears. Another natural remedy is coconut oil. Coconut oil has antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce inflammation and pain. Using coconut oil or sweet almond oil is also a really helpful natural remedy if we're worried about ear mites. Using a clean dropper, apply a few drops of the coconut oil into your cat's ear and gently massage it. Repeat this process once or twice a day until that ear infection clears up. You'll want to use a natural remedy to treat the yeast and or the bacterial infection that's present and also help with the inflammation. A super simple natural remedy for whether an ear infection, whether it's bacterial, yeast, or you just need to reduce that inflammation is a combination of the herbs that have antibacterial, antifungal properties, along with natural products that help remove the wax and reduce the inflammation. One of my favorite recipes to help treat those ear infections is similar to the ear cleaner that I previously mentioned with a few additions. So you'll take two cups brewed green tea, cool it, remove the tea bag, one tablespoon of colloidal silver, five drops of calendula tincture, and three drops of organ grapefruit tincture. You'll put them all together in a glass little bottle, mix it thoroughly, and then use a syringe to put one to three mils into your cat's vertical ear canal. 
massage the base of the ear. Once again, you want to hear the liquid making a squishy noise. And I recommend putting a towel down, not wearing a nice outfit since your cat will shake their head afterwards. You'll use this one to two times a day until redness and infection resolve. You don't need to wipe out the solution afterwards when we're treating the infection. And if the ear infection is not improving or it's worsening, make sure to go to the vet. And don't forget to clean the waxy debris every day before applying this remedy to help resolve the ear infection faster. Remember, while these natural remedies can be helpful in treating ear infections in cats, it's important to consult a veterinarian if your cat is showing signs of an ear infection. I hope you found these natural remedies helpful and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more cat-related holistic pet care content. And if you like this video, it would truly mean the world to me if you liked the video and left a comment down below. I hope you found something helpful to help your cat feel their best. When we focus on finding the root cause to why the symptom, like an ear infection, is occurring, this is where the transformation in your pet's health occurs. And if you're ready to learn more and how to implement these pillars into your cat's life, make sure to schedule a call to hear about our healthy, holistic pet for life blueprint. We already have many pet parents implementing this information you learned today and are getting the results that they need so that they don't have to keep going back and forth to the vet clinic for the same health issues and they feel confident on the path that they're on. But here's the best part. You never need to feel alone again since you'll be joining our lifelong program with guidance and support from myself and other amazing pet parents across the world. So if you're ready for the next level holistic pet care, make sure you click the link down below and schedule an interview to learn more today. I'll see you soon.